Hey guys, it's Sarah from Halftone Digital, and today we're going to be talking about scrolling in Adobe XD. XD implemented several different scrolling options for groups, and so today we're going to be going through vertical scrolling, horizontal scrolling, and horizontal and vertical scrolling. We're going to be using a mock-up of the Discord interface to explain and talk about these different scroll groups. And so if you haven't worked with scroll groups before, these scrolling options are restricted to groups within your interface, and it allows those groups in particular to be scrollable when the mouse is hovering over them. We're going to start by making the channel list right here scrollable because, as you can see, it goes down quite a ways and we want this list to be scrollable within this section without overlapping the server nav or the user nav. Just to show this scroll group works, I have this list put on top of both of the navs. So if we undo the scroll, you can see that it overlaps and we don't want that excess content to overlap our navigation. And this doesn't require masks, it doesn't require placing it underneath certain layers. You can keep it wherever it is and we can contain where the scrolling happens by selecting vertical scrolling. And so we are given these two handles on the top and bottom of our group and this essentially hides and masks everything that's outside of it. And I want my scroll to appear as though it is disappearing behind the server navigation, and so I've moved it just below the server nav line. When we scroll, it disappears quote unquote behind the nav, despite it being on an upper layer, and it doesn't overlap our user navigation. And we scroll over the messages, you can see that I have the scroll bar moving just to show some level of authenticity, even though it's scrolling in the wrong direction. But it's a nice touch and it can be applied to other features. And the way that I did that is by adding this specific black bar in the scroll bar to the scroll group and then masking the scroll group itself. So if we go over here, we can see that I have a masked group where the channel text is. If we go inside, we have our scroll group. And so everything within the scroll group, the text and that bar is scrollable, but I also have it masked. So it sits below a mask that consists of a text box and then the scroll box. So if we preview it, we can see that it disappears around that curved edge and it doesn't disappear behind the channel nav. And now if we go down to horizontal scrolling, in this fake mockup, I have the text going off the page using the same masking technique and grouping the scroll bar within the text box scroll group. And then down here, I have another fake mockup that shows vertical and horizontal scrolling all in one place. And there you have it, using masks with scroll groups and horizontal, vertical, and horizontal and vertical options in Adobe XD. I hope these scrolling options help you prototype your own interfaces, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!